Hello, welcome to another Rhodes Optional video. My name is Austin and behind me is my 2007 Lexus GX470. If you caught the last video on this channel, you saw me install a extruded aluminum uh, roof rack onto my OEM bars. I highly recommend that if you are wanting some additional ways to mount things without spending $1,000 on an aftermarket roof rack. And the reason I actually did that was so I could better mount my Napa awning. Uh, it was kind of done in a hurry when I got it and I saw that you could mount it just using the OEM crossbars and drilling into them and using the, the hardware that Napa provides with the awning. Um, I didn't love that solution. It was bouncing a lot, moving a lot on bumpy roads. The brackets themselves were bending really badly. So this video is dedicated to the process of creating the uh, brackets that I did for this awning, specifically for Lexus GX470s that have an extruded aluminum uh, roof rack. So I understand not a lot of you out there that are in the same predicament, but if you are, this is a really great solution in my opinion. Uh, and if you're not and you're just here because you want to watch somebody make something, uh, this is a cool video to watch. So let's get into it. So this project started in Onshape. It is a web-based CAD program pretty easy to learn with the help of the internet and my friend. I learned it over the course of a couple days. This is my cardboard template progression from bottom to top. As I iterated my designs, I made cardboard templates to test fit them onto my Lexus. And this is the final product. I had to split the bracket up into two separate pieces because Send Cut Send was not able to do those two 90 degree bends with such a small face. Sunkit Send was very reasonable though. They told me exactly what the issue was when I submitted my initial design and said they could either bend it as far as they could to get both of those bends to nearly 90 degrees or just alter my design. And I opted to split the bracket into two separate pieces. Creating your cart in Sunkit Send is very easy and I've been doing it in the background here. You just select your material and your thickness after you upload your file. Then they have some fun options where you can add bends, you can add tapping or hardware insertions, and then you can also opt to have your piece powder coated. I definitely would have done this if I knew for sure that the bracket fit, but at this point I hadn't test fit it. I didn't want to modify a part that had already been powder coated. You can see the total there. The powder coated parts were about $70. The uncoated parts that I opted for here were shipped to my door for about 50 after the shipping charges. Packaging is kind of fun. They have little stickers in there and a banana Laffy Taffy was also in there. But they're vacuum sealed to a piece of cardboard. So if you are like me and you opt for an uncoated piece, they're not gonna corrode or anything on the way over. Before I started painting, I needed to make sure they fit, and they fit so, so well. Really, really lucky, I think, to nail my first design, but cardboard is your friend. Surface prep was very straightforward, just a little bit of scotch fright on the faces of them, and then got the air compressor to blow all the contaminants off, and then hit them with a tiny bit of brake clean after they were hanging up. The paint I chose was Steel It. It's definitely overkill for this application, but from everything I saw, it is really, really durable and these are gonna be definitely exposed to the elements. Speaking of exposure, make sure you use proper PPE when painting. I did after my first coat and regret not doing it sooner. My roof rack order had some additional T-nuts and I added some screws to that order uh, in preparation for installing these. So they're just M6 screws and standard 10 series T-nuts. I added some washers because the screws are just a tiny bit too long and they're just stainless steel washers and they made the brackets extremely secure. My wife helped me actually get the awning mounted to the new brackets. The hardware for that was just what was included in the Napa awning and then I added a washer to the back of each of the two bolts for each bracket just to spread the load a little bit more evenly. And then if you don't have a ratcheting wrench, that was an absolute lifesaver. Uh, that lower bolt, especially, you could not get a socket on it. Um, like I said, it is remarkably sturdy. 
This is a huge improvement to what I did before and made ordering this aftermarket roof rack and designing these mounts 100% worth it. Looking at the final product, I'm still in disbelief at how well these turned out. For my first time ever designing something in CAD and having it sent to me, I'm really, really pleased with the results. If this is something that you think you could have some use for and you want to do the same thing to your GX, reach out to me directly or look in the GX Off-Road Facebook group. I'll be doing a lengthy post in there as well. I'll be doing some additional modifications and additions to this roof rack, so stay tuned for those. Thank you so much for watching if you made it this far, and we will catch you in the next one.